All right, in the last video we talked about sets, uh, and this time I want to compare them to weak sets. It's a really similar to maps versus weak maps. Um, with sets, the two things to know is that you can only add objects, you can't add any other type of primitive, and then also, um, you know, you can't enumerate, it doesn't do size, it's weakly referenced, so very similar to weak maps. Um, and let's take a look at some examples here. Uh, so first we can make uh, my set equals a new set. And at the same time, we'll do var my weak set equals a new weak set. OK, so we've got both of these now. Um, let's make some objects just for setting. Um, so we can do var object or ob one equals a new object primitive, and var obj two equals a new object primitive. OK, so those are just some empty objects. Uh, and now we can go ahead and we can go like my set dot add uh, object one and my set dot add object two and then really similarly we can do my weak set dot add object one and my weak set dot add object two okay so now as far as this is concerned uh, they're identical one thing to know is that like I mentioned before you can't set primitives on a weak set so if we did like my weak set dot add uh, the number one or something like that it's going to give us an error invalid value used in weak set so that's something to know right off the bat similarly if you wanted to like console log uh, my set oops my set dot size um, we'll see it's two and if we tried to my weak set dot size it's undefined so you can't enumerate them because they're weakly referenced okay so now that we've got that stuff out of the way, I'm going to clear this. Um, let's take a look at some differences. So we can console.log my weak set has, uh, has object one. Uh, and that's true. And we can also console log uh, my set has object one. Okay, so those are both true. Great, just like we'd expect. And now the thing to know is that if we were to do something like uh, set object one to null, the weak set no longer has it, right? Like the only way to check would be um, console logging like this, and we'll see now it's false. Um, but if you were to take the regular set uh, and you were to do an iteration over it, like let item of uh, my set and console.log item, uh, you'll see that these two objects are still here. So again, it's like when you're using a map or you're using a set, um, you're actually passing these values in. Uh, and the values will stay in that set or in that map until you specifically remove them. Uh, if you're passing uh, objects into a map, a weak map or a weak set, it's just a reference. So as long as if there's no more references to those objects, they just get removed from the set um, or map. So yeah, I hope that helps a little bit understanding the differences. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see uh, regarding maps and sets.